Well, we have uh, over-rationalized our society. We uh, have pretended there are no mysteries in it. And along with that, the death of mystery goes the death of hope. There is no sense of uh, the future uh, being interesting. It's dull. In every lovely line, in every lovely scene, in every piece of beauty, there is a mystery uh, that goes beyond what we can see uh, with our human eyes. And it's very important that we keep the sense of mystery. Otherwise, we, we cut off the outreach. We cut off the vast extent. We cut off the joy of uh, our human existence. Our rational minds are only a very small part of our imagination, of our way of seeing life. And the larger, the much larger part, it cannot be measured, is the mystery that reaches beyond the rational explanation. Mystery is the experience in imagination that there is always something beyond where I am. The mystery is when I draw a line on a paper to make a form for a painting. Mystery is in love. Mystery is in a new idea. Mystery is what makes the, my experience of the stars. Surely I can explain the stars, but this does not relate at all to the joy of the mystery of the light of the moon and the stars. There's the mystery below all that we teach in our mathematical courses, in our scientific courses, in our religious courses. And we should help our children to learn the depth of mystery. To me now, there, um, every blade of grass out here and every wave on the ocean has its own mystery about it. It's not a mystery of what causes the wave. I know it's the wind. What it rather is, is my sense of form, the sense of, of poetry that the rhythm of the waves can bring. And this sense of mystery comes from within the person in his relation to life. The preservation of the idea of mystery, depending as it does on poetry, uh, on uh, art, on the sense of beauty, uh, the, this preservation is absolutely essential to the joy one gets out of life and to the, uh, well, if I may say, the resuscitation of the dead soul of our Western civilization. Uh, and uh, as if I were a young person, I would also be very much uh, disheartened by the attitude in the West these days, where materialism has destroyed the real freedom. I don't mean now pseudo-freedom. Uh, you have plenty of pseudo-freedom, and we have pseudo-freedom here. But the real freedom, which is the freedom of spirit, uh, we have lost this. And with it goes hope. 